See Peter Wagner, a senior ministry statesman, stated back in the 1980s, church planting is the most effective way to reach people for Christ. Hi, my name is Henry Reinga, the president of Christian Leaders Institute, and I want to ask you this question. Are you sensing the call to plant a new church? I want to talk today about how to start churches, and maybe it includes you as well. At Christian Leaders Institute, we offer free, high-quality pastor training, Christian leader training, church planter training, and we have introduced the Church Planter Ordination Certificate, which includes training of Christian basics, people smart in ministry, church in ministry, sermon construction and presentation, church planting theory, and a church planting action and ordination class. Let me talk about some of the features a minute. What will, you will receive is the essential ministry training for church planting. You will examine your calling into ministry in general. You'll look at your walk with God and how to make that reproducible. You'll also study the essential doctrines of the Bible. You'll do some practical things like how to do a funeral or wedding, how to do basic pastoral care, how to be people smart in ministry. Church planting is about is about people and how to construct sermons. Then you'll take the theory of starting churches. We partner with Multiplication Network Ministries. Christian Leaders Institute is pleased to promote their material and practices in planting mentor-supporting church plants everywhere. Ben Ingebretson, a consultant, trainer, coach, serving multiple denominations and churches. We partner with him. He is teaching in this class. He's an experienced church planter, parent church leader. He has led in church planting for over 15 years on regional and national levels in the United States. So you're going to get the theory of church planting. You will also receive the practice of starting churches. The essential action steps, like picking your church model. There, there are nine church models to pick from, and there's even more, but the, here are the nine essentials. You'll develop your leadership team. You'll address leadership organizational issues in this new church. And you'll also actually launch your new church. Now, in this whole process, ordination may be a factor for you, and if it is, this class also includes ordination. Now, if you're already ordained, this class can be a secondary ordination for you as well. But for many of you, this will be the ordination you need to be an agent of the church to start this new church. In the ordination part of this practical class, it will give you an understanding of biblical ordination. It walks you through the steps of calling and confirmation helps you gather three endorsements of your credibility to be ordained as a church planting pastor. And it finalizes the ordination process with a call to start a new church in the Christian Leaders Alliance. Let's talk about the Christian Leaders Alliance. Christian Leaders Institute is training Christian leaders all over the world in over 148 countries. We have graduates. And part of this movement is starting now the Christian Leaders Alliance. And in this case, church planters trained at Christian Leaders Institute are invited to join. This alliance is about a commission, that's the Great Commission, about a creed, that is the basic statements of faith. If you're here at Christian Leaders Institute, you'll know what that is. If you're new to Christian Leaders Institute, you can go to the christianleadersinstitute.org website and click the Statement of Faith and find out more. It's about a connection, how we can connect leaders from all over the world. It's about credibility, knowing that you are part of something that is deemed credible in the eyes of the world and in the church with good, solid doctrine and training and support. It's about communication, new ideas coming to you about communicating with 
donors and friends of ministry what's going on in the world. And it's about continuing education, how to grow. And if you as a church planter needs more training, if you need more training, you can take more classes all the way up to a Bachelor's of Divinity degree that will be received and accepted at places like Calvin Seminary, Western Theological Seminary, Northern Theological Seminary, Vision International University. So here's the question for you. Are you called to start a church? Here's what I want you to think about doing. If you're not already enrolled at Christian Leaders Institute, I invite you to enroll at www.christianleadersinstitute.org. Number two, take the church planting training track. Go for it. If you feel and sense the call to be a church planter, what do you have to lose to, but to try it? Start a new church. Actually do the action of starting a new church. God will be with you. If you're called to do it, make that plunge. And join the Christian Leaders Alliance, a place where you can get support, where you can be encouraged in the task, in the calling of planting a new church. You know, I remember that time when Dr. C. Peter Wagner said the statement that church planting is the most effective way of reaching people for Christ. I recall that because I was a young man in the 1980s. When he said that, I heard that and, and it, it sprung in my heart this urgency to plant a new church. And I did. And I planted more. And I was part of a movement of God. And today, does that statement, plant a church, ring inside of you? And if that's the case, I invite you to join. I invite you to pray about this. Get the training and ordination to plant a new church, to reach people for the Lord, to proclaim the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ.